what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the redmi note 5 pro and today in this video i'm going to be showing you the latest dirt face drum on this device and this is the official build based on android 10 of course and as you can see this is the 21st july 2020 build over here as it's listed and here it says the change logs i think and you can see more stuff over here if you want to see that and this build over here comes with two different builds one is including g apps and one is like excluding g apps so that is vanilla build and this is the g apps build which i have flashed on the redmi note 5 pro here and talking about flashing well this is pretty simplistic i have used the latest orange fox recovery r11 over here and i have just wiped cached alvik system data and i have used this particular firmware which is version 11.0.3 miui firmware of course global over here as it says so this is a global firmware which i have used and then i flashed the rom and i just rebooted if you are coming from miui and you want to flash this rom make sure to watch the video from the card right there so right now let's talk quickly what are the things that i have been enjoying over here so first things first the camera which i am noticing over here is the miui camera let me show you the front camera as you can see the front camera works super fine no issues with it no portrait mode as you can see i do not see the portrait mode over here for some reason let me switch to the back camera okay so here as you can see no portrait mode over here at all in the manual section i don't know if you will find it or not but yep there is no portrait mode in the stock camera over here and in the video section as you can see we have the settings and if you go into the settings maximum video quality that you can shoot with this miui camera is up to 1080p 30 fps and move to the front camera and in terms of the front camera settings again we have the 1080p 30 fps i don't know if it's a bug or something but we do not get the 1080p 60 fps option over here for some reason let me show you by opening it again as you can see the option is simply not there but yes i like this thing that we have the miui camera as default camera over here so i love clicking pictures with the miui camera and with the redmi note 5 pro actually on this dark face we get this miui camera but on the redmi note 7 pro this miui camera is simply not coming preloaded with actually so you have to install ANX camera or something separately but here you do not have to do that. The ROM has been working fine. The daily driving performance is pretty great over here which I will show you later on. And the stock launcher let me show you. To the left we have this Google's discover page and swiping down gets you to the notification panel of course and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and let me show you the settings of this launcher as you can see this is the launcher launcher present by default if i go into the about section as you can see this is the launcher launcher let me go back and inside gestures we of course have these kind of gestures these swiping gestures and double tap to sleep i have set it to so i can double tap anywhere on the home screen and it locks the device let me unlock and here as you can see the finger it's kind of speed again pretty fast no issues with the fingerprint scanner that I have been noticing here. It unlocks 100% of the time. So very, very reliable fingerprint scanner. And inside security, one thing that do disappoint me is that like over here, if you're noticing no face unlock option is there. So that is a disappointment. And here in the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like as you can see. And you can add multiple toggles over here as you're noticing. We have a lot of quick toggles. Let me scroll down and we have some apps quick toggles over here. So no, nope, there is no FPS info that I simply could not find. So the default screen recorder is there and this is how the settings of the screen recorder looks like. We can change the bitrate of the screen recorder as you are seeing. And we have the audio source changing option to internal or microphone. Then we have the show dot option, but you cannot change the FPS over here for the screen recording. In the Android version section, as you can see, this is how it looks like on top. We get the Dirtfest logo and inside Android version, of course, this is based on Android 10. Let me go back. The security patch is latest of July 5th, 2020. And we have the Dirtfest version as the 21st July 2020 build, of course. And we have the build type as official. You can see the change logs from here, I guess, as you can see. Pretty good. We have a whole list of the change log and the stock kernel over here is Strom Baker Dirt and the SLinux is enforcing by default. In the system panel, we do have this Dirt Fist updated. As you can see, you have to allow over here. Let me check it again. All right. So right now, as you can see, it says update disabled for some reason. But yeah, you can check for updates from here. Let me go into the settings. OK, so there is the secure mode and stuff show info and some settings for the updater is there i think delta update auto download all and stuff and there is also a schedule mode too for this let me go back and over here the default keyboard is gboard so that is a really good thing you don't have to worry about privacy or stuff like that and in the settings if i scroll up you will see the dark quest settings where 
you will get all the customizations for this ROM. Let me jump into it and here is how the customization panel looks like. Inside theming we have these themes let me show you. As you can see you can customize the theme normally you can choose the fonts and let me actually show you the fonts variety. As you can see plethora of fonts are there. Let me go over here and you can choose these icons as you like. So you can hit next and you can choose also the background over here if you want the uh, like one plus dark or something you can use that and then you can change the shapes to these mini options as you are noticing and here if I hit next as you can see you can set a custom theme but the accent colors are not here I'll show you where it is here in the clock settings we have these mini lock screen clocks over here in the grid settings we have this 3 by 3 5 by 5 6 by 6 option and then inside wallpapers let me show you we have this on device wallpaper which is the default one which I have been using let me go back actually and here we have the live wallpapers and these are the downloaded live wallpapers you do not have to download them separately as you can see these are like preloaded over here so you do not have to do anything just apply them it will be applied as a live wallpaper over here in the accent preset and from here you can change the accent colors as you can see it it does not it has custom over here so let me change it to something else like this green over here as you can see the accent color has been changed and right now it looks green let me change it to default for the time being and we have this rgb accent picker so you can pick any color from this millions of colors over here of course you can choose from here let me scroll down we have the switch style option and you can change the switch or toggle style to one plus or something let me do that and did it change Okay, so it did. Let me change it to something like telegram as you can see the toggles just notice this toggles over here as you can see these toggles are changing so yeah you can change these toggles and we have this framework value option if you don't like this status bar padding and stuff you can adjust that from here. Let me go back from the themes and jump into the status bar we have the system icons and headset bluetooth etc icons are there and as you can see there is the show 4G instead of LTE. And then we have the Vaulty icon too and from here you can choose your Vaulty icon as you prefer it and data disabled icon and stuff is there. Let me go back we have the status bar logo, network traffic and stuff, battery icon is there. So let me show you we do have this big circle option over here if you like that and so that you can change the icons percentage over here inside the icon or next to the icon so that is good and we have this battery percentage while charging option too and then we have the show clock show date etc whenever you are seeing these lines over here as you can see this means you can jump into the customization of that particular thing over here as you can see so this is very beautiful customizations over here notification ticker and stuff is there and then there is a battery bar and stuff if you want to use a battery bar for some reason inside quick settings we have the status bar quick pull down and stuff you can choose it to right left or always and we have the quick setting panel opacity control and then blur behind the quick setting panel and stuff you can have those and also you can customize that as you can see you are seeing these lines again and brightness slider and stuff is there you can customize it too then we have the tiles area footer area etc customizations for the quick settings panel jumping to the buttons here we have the enabling option for the two or three button navigation and here we have the nav bar tuner as you can see you can actually configure them if you're using a two or three button navigation let me go back we have the pulse this is the like navigation bar pulse i guess and then we have the screen of power button toggle torch this actually works flawlessly we have the gestures inside system navigation gesture we have this android tense gesture over here but you cannot really adjust the size of this pill over here this is one bummer over here that i have been saying that you cannot customize the size of this navigation bar pill of the gestures and two and three button navigations is of course there let me go back over here we have the brightness control so you can control or adjust the brightness just by sliding a finger on the status bar this is very cool feature in my opinion and i really really do love it and here we have the status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep also three finger screenshot gesture is there this is the one plus kind of screenshot gesture as you are noticing to the left we have the share edit and scrolling option and then delete option so yeah a lot of options that we get let me go back and from here we have the lock screen settings here we have the fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff let me scroll down we have the media cover art and clock widget date widget customization you can customize the date widget and stuff from here of course but one thing that I do not like there is no always unlock with the figment scanner so that I do miss over here. In the power menu we do have the advanced reboot option so let me show you. As you can see if you tap restart right now and we have this directly rebooting to recovery or bootloader or fast boot option. So no compromises here. In the notifications we have the notification light or the battery charging light is there too. It even works in do not disturb mode and the notification LED actually works I have seen it working so you do not have to worry. 
blink flashlight for incoming call feature is there if you really really love that and then we have the charging animation feature and then heads up you can disable that from here edge lighting we have this feature you can customize the edge lighting from here of course you can customize the color from here so that this color over here changes of the edge lighting and over here we have the in call vibration option so we do have vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect option let me go back to the animations here we have these many animations of course the whole UI animation is present and in the misc settings we have the wake up on charge disabling option then we have the allow signature spoofing and stuff these kind of settings and inside about we can see the developer's name and stuff you can donate to the developers from here let me go back inside battery settings as you can see we have the battery temperature over here and over here we have the screen on time of course last full charge you can see that i charged it three days ago because my phone was in standby of course because i don't have a sim card in it as you can see you can go into the full battery usage from here battery life should be good enough you can get about six plus hours of screen on time with this rom pretty sure in the display settings we have the lock screen display and stuff then we have the adaptive brightness or like auto brightness and some interesting thing about this rom that i have been liking is that we have the screen timeout this is like after how much time it will lock the device and we have the lock screen timeout this is really interesting if i put it to like two minutes let's guess that and over here if i go into the lock screen just by double tapping just like this it will stay on the lock screen for two minutes so this is a really interesting feature if you want to see like the charging info and stuff you can just straight up enable that feature to two minutes or five minutes over there and you can see the lock screen for a lot of time until and unless you double tap over here to lock the device so this is a really amazing feature in my opinion and here we have the screen saver double tap to wake and stuff game driver preference is there per app you can set that and then if you scroll down we have the dark theme you can enable the dark theme of course if you really love the dark theme let me disable that for the time being we have the primary colors you can change that from here and this is the background color actually and we have the headline and body fonts and as you can see plethora of fonts option is also here icon shapes you can change it from here too and then we have the status bar icon changing option now let's jump into the sound settings here if i scroll down we have the me audio direct and from here if you choose this youth edition the sound output via the headphone jack is just great i do not have any complaints with the sound output even with bluetooth the sound output is great and we have the screenshot sound touch vibration touch sounds etc disabling option over here of course and here is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this as you can see and you can control it as you would like and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here that is pretty much all about the settings over here now let me show you the banking apps if you can use that so yeah as you can see the safety net status actually passes so that means you can use banking apps right out of the box on this rom also i have tested the ir bluster present up top on the device with this led rgb remote app and that is working totally fine now let's just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here and you can see the animations which are happening let's go led rgb remote app play store this google home youtube now let's open all these apps from memory again and you can check the animations over here well all the apps are staying in memory so i don't have any complaints regarding the memory management over here or the app running of speeds pretty fine and here is the end to end gig bin score of this rom so that's been it guys that's all i could show you about the dark face rom this is a pretty great option if you have a redmi note 5 pro you can definitely try it on your device thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now